Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway. I preach at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. And I want to thank you for joining me today as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. Today we are in Colossians chapter 1. In Colossians chapter 1, we'll look at verse 3 and verses 9 and 10. Colossians 1, verse 3 and verse 9 and 10. Verse 3 says, We give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. And then verse 9 says, For this reason also, since the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, and to ask that you may be filled with full knowledge of his will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you may walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, to please him in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work, and multiplying in, fulfill, in full knowledge, in the full knowledge of God. Um, as you read these verses, uh, point one point uh, to make is the fact again. And Paul, I know he, he makes mention of this of pretty much all the brethren, all the letters that he writes to the churches, um, is that he continuously prays for them. Right? He's, he he often makes that uh, note that since we've heard of your faith, we we pray for you. And I think that's a good question for us. How how often do we continue to pray for our brethren? How often do we continue to pray for new converts? Um, or is it that we give thanks when we hear the news or see someone gets baptized, but then, then we stop? You know, we, we, we quit uh, encouraging them, praying for them, and knowing that this is just the beginning of their journey um, and in the Lord and that there's going to be more... Uh, temptations and encounters that they're going to have to overcome and to live that faithful life. But, you know, we have to continue to pray for one another, continue to pray for them. Um, and so, verse 3, he gives thanks for them. Verse 9, he brings out some other points, though. He brings out that he prays for them that they may be filled with knowledge, full of knowledge in his will and spiritual wisdom and understanding. Again, when someone obeys the gospel, it, it's due to the first principles, the elementary teachings of our Lord, the things that need to be known before you obey the gospel so that you can believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that he died, he resurrected, uh, repented of sins, uh, and, and being baptized to, to wash those sins away, being added to his kingdom. But you have to grow from there. You have to continue to add to your faith, virtue, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, um, and so as we grow in that, again, he, he prays that they continue to grow in wisdom and understanding, but not just to, to grow in, you know, in the mind, but to walk accordingly, right? Verse 10, to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, to please him in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work, multiplying in the full knowledge of God. And so it's not just praying for knowledge, but that they walk Correctly, and that they are bearing much fruit. And so, um, again, it's, we're not supposed to be standing still, but moving forward and doing the work of God. So, anyways, I want to thank you for joining me. I hope everybody has a blessed day, and if the Lord is willing, I'll talk to you later.